Hey everyone, welcome to the Country Rose Farm channel. I noticed that we've got quite a few new subscribers and a lot more viewers here lately. So I wanted to reintroduce our youngest horse on our team, Stonewall. And I also kind of want to put in a bit of uh, my own qualms about our wonderful horse. Because he seems to have a... Uh, well, let's just say Boy. He, ha he requires a lot of maintenance. But first, let's go back to the more tender times. As true with all young horses, they like to lay down on their sides when they sleep, and Stonewall's no exception, so oftentimes he's got these large patches from where he's found some mud or fresh pile of manure or some junk, and he's got it caked up on him. <laughs> so he's always requiring a lot of brushings and washings, and this is how I like to clean his hooves. So whenever he's laying down, I'm down there picking his feet, checking for rocks, and um, I think that's a pretty good strategy, good way to be safe. Now, if you look closely, uh, Stonewall is not solid white. When I get him all cleaned up, you can actually see that he's got some brown, uh, mousy, tawny, gray kind of color. I'm not sure what to identify it as. But a lot of the times, it looks like this. And this is disgusting. And I don't know why he chooses to lay down where he does. There's plenty of nice places to lay down around here. But he finds the muckiest spot. And maybe he just likes to be groomed. Maybe he likes getting showers. I don't know. But he gets really messy. So be lenient on me guys because it is kind of hard to identify his color <laughs> but okay so he's here he is i've got him in the shoeing stock for his own safety and mine uh whenever i'm going to hose him off now he's a young horse uh very strong now curly on the other hand he's the oldest horse we've got we suspect he's probably 24 ish he he came to us a few years ago we haven't had him the whole time he's been alive but you can see here i'm not sure what the conversation is between the old and the new or the old and the young guys but it seems like curly's telling him to be a man when it comes time for his his time in the stock and uh curly could be kind of old school on his encouragement practices but so this is me uh, working on actually getting the muck that's been caked on the little baby horse and getting that off of there I like to use the shoeing stock uh, for occasions like this because one it has that platform and it makes it easy it doesn't make a lot of mud um, and I can really work on 
getting the hoofs and the feathering on the legs cleaned up. Also, you don't want, well, I'm not telling anyone else how to raise their horses, but for us, we like to use that stock as often as we can in order to desensitize the animals to the stock. Like, you can't just make it all negative experiences. You get in there, you get peppermint candy, it's a happy time. You know, just basic foundation kind of training. Now, a little bit about Stonewall. Uh, his mother, Ellie, who lives here on the farm, is a full-blooded Clydesdale, so he's half Clydesdale, and his sire is uh, a large guy. He's bigger than Ellie, and uh, let's see here. He's half quarter horse and half Belgian, so a lot of his coloring comes from somewhere on the father's side. His father looks the same color pattern as he is. Another comment about uh, Stonewall's upkeep is this mane that he has. He has not yet had a haircut, but believe me, next video you guys see him in, he's going to have a major trim up on this mane. I have tried so much to keep this mane brushed out, combed, looking presentable, and during his wallowing around in the muck, he manages to find something, I don't know what it is, something's out there braiding his mane, or twisting his mane, and I, I don't know how he does this, but he gets him into these wads, and I, I don't find anything in the hair, like sticks or debris, and not even like a lot of mud, but it's still just ah oh, it's just maddening trying to keep this mane and it's real pretty when it gets brushed out but also little young horse here uh doesn't have a lot of patience so um i have to pick my battles that footage that you saw earlier is him after he got the shower and no i didn't get to pick at his mane because he was losing patience and again being in the stock is not a negative experience, so I just let him go with his mat. I kind of teased the mane a little bit, trying to see what was going on, if there was any briars in it. But this was not the day to mess with Stonewall's hair. Today was just get him in there, get him washed, and get him back out in the sunshine. So, uh... I usually alternate. If I have them in the stock for this, I'll wait another time to handle um, a stock ex exercise later. I don't want to have him sitting in there for three hours. He'll get he'll get really upset. <laughs> Man, we don't want any upset horses. But he was born May fifteenth, twenty twenty and just right here at our barn and we've got some videos i'll put a link to those at the end of our video here so y'all can see the birth and see how uh i believe my son brasco did a introduction on that one and you can see how much younger he is <laughs> two years ago it's amazing start from something so little and to grow to be this size now and he's not done growing. He's probably got another three years before he reaches his full, uh, his full size. But I remember when he was just a little bitty guy, fresh from mom's womb. Cue the tender music. Oh, the little baby. Richard was so proud. I was proud. We were all proud. It was an exciting event. Uh, I had never seen a baby horse born before. Like, I had seen baby horses, but never like this fresh. Like, still wet behind the ears fresh. And we got some plans for Stonewall. We're hoping that we can get him to get used to working in a harness and to pull and possibly even ride. Now, right now, even though he looks like he's a good size, he is still we think, in our opinion, 
too young to be putting any pressure on his back. You don't want to mess up growth plates. So we, we have a vet and we're consulting with uh, trainers and our vet about what's going to be the best process to get Stonewall trained under saddle. But for now, there's a lot of things foundation-wise we can do. Like, um, he is halter broke. He leads very well. He knows how to take care of his feed bag. Very important for a horse. Um, which, by the way, we have found to be the best way not to waste grain um, when it comes to feeding time. But it's it's been an experience. And yes, it does require a lot of elbow grease and a lot of patience and a lot of brushing and a water bill, but it's worth it. It's Stonewall. I'm not sure what we would do without him, but having him as an additional cast member, supporting crew, and future muscle for the plow and everything. I think Stonewall's got a pretty good bright future here at Country Rose Farm. Thank you everyone. <laughs>